Joey here with Hernandez Driving School, and we are going to be going over all of the documents that you need uh, to get your license and do the testing here with us at Hernandez Driving School. So in the packet that you got with your certificate, uh, one of the things that you got was this sheet right here. Now, I'm going to zoom in on this real quick, and we're going to talk about what all of this means. So, first off, this top one here, this ADE 1317, that is the uh, purple half sheet certificate that says that you took the course and you passed the test. Um, it looks something like this here. Okay, this is a, a sample of what that form kind of looks like, so you should have something like that. That is what proves that you are ready um, to do the behind-the-wheel test and get your permit. Okay, um, the next thing that you're going to need when you go to DPS to turn in all this paperwork is proof of identity. Now, the most common thing that people have are uh, birth certificate and Social Security. Um, if you already have a state ID great take that as well and then one of uh, those cards either the social or the birth certificate um, if you do not have a state ID or a birth certificate social security card uh, accessible uh, let us know there's a long long list of uh, documents that you could take uh, so we'll deal with that one-on-one uh, -on -one with everyone uh, but for the most part it's those two things right there and that proves identity who you are the next thing here is proof of residency, which means that you're going to need two bills with your name on it. Uh, for a lot of people, that isn't an issue, but for our younger students, that can be a bit of an issue uh, if you're still living at home and parents uh, have the bills in their name. Um, we can do that. We just need to know ahead of time. Uh, we can make that work. We just need to show you, a, the, send you a Texas residency affidavit. It's a separate sheet of paper. So um, if you do not have two bills with your name, let us know, and we can uh, get you the right form that you need uh, to make that happen to prove your residency. If you have a vehicle in your name, you are going to need to take uh, the registration and insurance for the vehicle um, just to make sure all of that is in order. And then the DL-14A application, that's normally what's sitting there on the clipboards when you walk into DPS. I give it to you ahead of time, right, so you can fill it out and without feeling rushed. Uh, the main things up at the top here to select are going to be driver license, original, class C, and no for the motorcycle. Um, Usually I check that off for you, but if they are not checked off, please make sure they are uh, that they are. Um, and then you're going to fill all this out with your information. Down here, uh, they have a question. Are you currently enrolled or have you completed a driver education course? The answer to that is yes. Okay. And then uh, when it comes down here to all of the signatures, it says right here, do not sign uh, below until told to do so. Um, so do not sign anything until you actually get to DPS. You will do all of the signatures there. Uh, once you have, and then, uh, so you go to DPS with all those documents. It's $25 for the permit. You take your picture, you do the vision test, and you walk out with a piece of paper with your picture on it. And with that piece of paper, we can do the behind the wheel test, uh, the road test, right? Um, as far as the DPS locations are concerned, I usually suggest either the Edinburgh Mega Center or Westlaco. They tend to have the least amount of problems. Um, so once you have that, now you have your permit. Now you need to be able to uh, do the behind the wheel test with us, right? That road test. So you already have your permit, right? Because we already did the previous page of steps. Excellent. Then we have this impact video course that you have to complete okay it is an hour-long course three little videos uh, with questions afterward on distracted driving it is super sad so mentally prepare yourself for that um, and you have to go through that and they email you a certificate um, on the website I have uh, a link on the adult course page um, next to the DPS uh, check-ins which um, 
when it comes to that I'll have check-in so you can check in online uh, when you go to DPS so that way you don't have to sit there and wait forever you can check in online and it'll text you when you get to the front of the line so you don't have to be sitting there all day um, I'll also include a link to the impact video so you click on that link and it will take you to this website here okay this is the impact Texas um, registration okay and you are going to do register as a new user this is totally free right so you don't have to worry about that you're going to put in all your basic information right up here create account uh, create an account this is through DPS okay and then down here this is where most people get a little confused right so let me make this a little bit bigger very good so here under driver education type you want to select licensed and when you start typing in our school name Hernandez driving school all right boom it pops up right there you click on it and then you'll put either your your uh, permit number or you could also use the uh, the number that's on the certificate that uh, that you got for taking the six hour course okay so then once you get done with that you get your impact certificate so then you have your permit you have your certificate and then uh, sixty dollars for the test you can pay that uh, in person or uh, you can use the the purchase button there on the website get that paid for and then we can schedule you uh, it is sixty dollars it includes our vehicle so you don't have to worry about insurance um, if you would like to use your own vehicle you are allowed there is an additional charge for that it is twenty dollars um, and you need to make sure that you have a valid proof of insurance for the vehicle uh, and that everything for inspections are functioning as far as wipers horn turn signals all of that those all need to be in proper working order for you to be able to use that vehicle uh, for the test um, and that is uh, the process once you pass the behind the wheel test we will give you a sealed envelope uh, you do not open that and you just have to turn that in over to DPS and when you walk out you will have your full complete license uh, if you have any other questions uh, make sure that you uh, call us let us know you can also message us here on the website um, so uh, with that if there uh, are any questions please make sure to reach out well, that's what we are here for so remember Hernandez Driving School where your safety matters